Just want to wish happy birthday to uh, my old mucker, my old friend, you know, Gregor Jackson. You remember me, Gregor, from school? No, you wouldn't, because I wasn't born when you finished school, but you knew me. I was one of those kids you used to beat up and push around. People wouldn't think that of you because you were so like a uh, public schoolboy, you know, speaking with that proper accent. Oh, hello. Everybody knows, really, you were just hiding what you really were like, you know. It's got to have, a, got to have a, an effect on you when your mum and dad make you wear pressed jeans. I know you still do, I've seen pictures. Psychologically damaging that, you know, ironing jeans to that crisp edge and making you have to wear them in public. So anyway, um, I just want to wish you happy birthday. I know you're probably thankful you made it this far. That's what I've heard anyway. I understand recently you got uh, a couple of bullets in you. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. But like I said, you've always got to have something more than anybody else. So another couple of holes in your body and you're happy because you're better than anybody else. So I'll say it to for now and just remember your friends back in England especially your northern friends you know because I know you're from Croydon but um, anyway happy birthday you old bastard and I'll see you later alright see ya hello just want to wish my good friend Gregor Jackson a very happy birthday we used to go to school together well no we didn't really because I didn't I couldn't go to the same school he went to because he was a snob Yes, he used to speak very proper, you know. I could never speak proper because of the size of my nose. And I had lisp too, so I never really fit in, you know. It's uh, kind of big, my nose. But there you go. Anyway, Greg was a nice boy. Always pleasant, so he made out. Could never understand why he wore skirts at weekends, but then again, you know, each to their own. And, uh, yes... The press jeans, they were always a concern with us all, you know. We never quite understood why he wore press jeans, but there you go. Anyway, he's 68, I believe. Maybe 69. If he's 69, it'll be a good year for him because it's sexually, or sexual orientation of the numbers, you know, because Gregor was like that, always funny with numbers, and if it was, like, sexually orientated, he'd giggle a lot. Very simple man to please. Very simple man to please. Don't think I don't think things have changed really. Gets a lot of satisfaction from animals. Used to spend a lot of time at the petting zoo, did uh, Gregor? Yes. A lot of time at the petting zoo. More time than he really should have done. Animals used to freak out when they saw him. They used to run away. Hmm. Anyway. Just want to say happy birthday and uh, have a good day and I'm glad you made it this far. All right, see you my friend. Hello, Gregor, do you remember me? I used to go to school with you, yes. Um, you know, proper public school, you know, I was that nice, bespectacled child that you made friends with all those years ago. Yes, me, you know, big eyes. Used to call me, um, what was it? some sort of marsupial or monkey with the big eyes because I, I can't help but do that you know like a lemur or something or a, 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 um, um, a dormouse you know big eyes so I can see at night yes you always want to take me to parties so I could get you home yeah I remember you yeah yeah that's about all I remember of you though because I can't remember anything nice about you because there was nothing really nice about you but you've had a long and happy life I suppose for a man that wears ironed jeans oh well I will look in shock at you now so that you can remember me happy birthday alright happy birthday 
I just want to wish you a happy birthday, Greg. Do you remember me? Squiffy Hamilton, yes. Went to public school together in Croydon. Yes. I was the brainy one, as you can see from the size of my head. And I was chinless wonder, because obviously I don't have much of a chin these days. But I just wanted to wish you a very happy, happy birthday. I know that it's been a long time since we actually got together, but I keep you dear to my mind and my thoughts. Um, yes, and I still do the same as you. I do iron my jeans very often, and while I'm doing so, I think of you. Yes, I know that we used to spend hours and hours on the ironing boards doing our jeans. I know that we were scorned and ridiculed because we were always dressed so smart and so chic. But anyway, uh, enough of the waffling. Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And, uh, and let's hope that you have many, many more. So anyway, have a good day, old chap, and uh, tally-ho.